Type in your browser, online.prc.gov.ph, and then click the OK. And then click the close button. And if you still have no Luris account, you can click the register button. And if you already have an account, click the sign in tab. Type in your email address. And then your password. And click the box of I am not a robot. And lastly click the sign in tab. And then click on the select transaction tab. Select the examination tab. And then on the name of examination, select the professional teacher. And then on the examination type. Select the complete or first timer. And on the date of examination, select the available examination date. And on your place of examination, choose or select your preferred examination place on where do you want to take the examination. And if you are a 18 units earner, then click yes. And then select your let level. And also select your let major. And click search for the school on where you graduated your degree or course. And type in your school on where you graduated your degree or course. And type in the year you graduated your degree or course. And if you are not a 18 units earner, just click no. And select your let level. And then also select your let major. And lastly click the proceed button. And if you are not yet familiar with the list of requirements then you can click here to view the list of requirements. And lastly click the proceed button. Always remember that appointment slots are free. And then click the proceed button. Here you can find your appointment details. The next step will be to choose or select your preferred PRC regional office on where you will file for your application for examination. And then here you can find the available scheduled date and time for your appointment in filing for the application for examination. However if you are not available with the available schedule you can click here to reschedule your appointment date. Here you can find your examination name. And then your examination date. And your examination place. Your examination type. And lastly your examination fee. And then click the proceed button to continue with your online application. This will be now your payment method. To complete your examination transaction. Please choose on the different payment option. As of now PRC cashier is not yet available. After you selected your preferred payment option, this will pop out. And lastly click on the submit button. Here you can choose the different available online e-wallets. This will pop out if you choose the Maya e-wallet. This will pop out if you choose the Cash e-wallet. After you have successfully paid for the examination fee using the online payment system, you may now proceed with your existing transaction to check your appointment details. Here you can find your application number, and then your examination place, and also your examination date with your let level and let major and also your appointment place and appointment date on which you will file for your application for examination and if you want to print your electronic receipt you can click here and lastly click here to print your application form on which you will need to bring on your appointment schedule this will be now your application form on which you will find your 
appointment date, an appointment place, then your application number, the date of examination, and the place of examination. You can click here to print your application form. This will be the lower part of your application form. Here you will need for your right thumb mark. Then you will need to sign for your signature. Then the date of accomplished on when you filled up your application form. Then make sure to indicate the day. Then the month. Then the year. And also the place on where you filled up your application form. Then you will need to fill up also for your community tax certificate number. And lastly, you will need here to paste or glue your documentary stamp. Important. Failure to submit this application form with the required requirements or documents shall mean non-inclusion in the list of examinees in the room assignment and forfeiture of examination fees.